what fun to go see a Broadway play and then go to Sardi's. Yay, New York! <laughs> <laughs> Will Chase was the lead in my daughter Amanda Green's show, A High Fidelity. I love Will and I love my daughter. So, there you go. <laughs> I haven't really heard much about it, but uh, just here to have a good time and, uh, you know, here we go. Start of a bunch of new shows and uh, exciting time in theater, so see what's up. The wonderful director Richard Malfi called me to tell me he was directing this terrific show with a wonderful cast and, and great music and he directed me in Song and Dance and he's a wonderful writer and director so I wanted to come and see what it's all about can't wait I know it's supposed to be about two guys it's a bromance uh, I'm a bro and I like romance so uh, I think it's gonna be great <laughs> Feels good to open finally. Yes, previews are open. It's nice. It was a fantastic evening. Um, you know, we had some incredible people there, like Bernadette Peters and Rue McClenahan. But I have to say, my parents were there, and the show is so much about family and Alvin's family and Thomas's family. And uh, you know, I, I, I'm afraid of sounding hokey, but this was one of the best nights of my life. We're all in the business of creating magic, you know, and this is the ultimate magic. Two people, one set and a thousand locations and a thousand events happen. It's intimate, it's two guys on stage. They basically have themselves and a stack of books and a table and a chair and a podium and somehow these guys are able to tell a complete story. It seems like a, a full stage, a full story. It's kind of unlike anything that, that's running on Broadway right now because it's so intimate and so simple. Speak to me, noble spirit of the bookstore, this is Alvin here. And Thomas! Is there something you can recommend? Uh, as a gift for Thomas, my best friend, can you find him a story? It's a story about friendship. Uh, uh, Neil Bartram and Brian Hill wanted to write a story about friendship and, and about a friendship between two men. There are lots of stories about friendships between women, but very, very few stories about a friendship between men. Well, basically the story of the story of my life is about Alvin. I play Alvin and Will plays Thomas. We are two friends who meet in the first grade. Two friends, lifelong friends. Um, I play Thomas, uh, become a famous writer, and Alvin uh, has stayed back in our hometown and runs, basically runs his father's bookstore. Thomas becomes inspired, goes on to become a best-selling short story author, leaves the small town, becomes internationally known, and I play the, the person that stays in a small town and doesn't really have any ambition and it follows the course of this friendship over some 35 years and how the friendship dissolves and then eventually comes back together. Every Christmas Eve, every Christmas we'd make angels in the snow, in the snow. every year we'd watch them disappear, they disappear, but I know that they'll return, and though the years may come and go, when I need to have them with me, they'll be here. They'll be here. So the score is is written by Neil Bartram, my partner, and he's I personally think he's he's fantastic. He's great to work with, and it's this. We like to think of it as a play that is at times sung. And you know, it's just about I think uh, emotions that everyone can relate to. The the story is very identifiable to any, even though it's about two guys, I think we, f we find that women come to the show and, and, and identify with their women friends and it, it, it just has something that you can apply your own life to it in a way as opposed to seeing something that that you enjoy and it's a spectacle and you kind of let it wash over you. You know, I feel like you, you, you come to this and you, you bring yourself to it and that's how you get the most out of it. People seem to find something really personal in it, which I don't I don't even know if we set out to, to do that. We just set out to tell this specific story and somehow we're finding some universal connection uh, to a lot of people. It kind of makes you tap into how those friendships early on affected you or maybe getting in touch with uh, a friend and they also made it very universal. It's very specific to Thomas and Alvin's story but people connect with it in a lot of different ways and a lot of people send us letters and, and things like that and just uh, say that you know it made them call a friend that they hadn't talked to in several years so I think it really uh, and in and, and this uh, climate and day and age it's kind of nice to have something that's a little heartwarming and heartening. It's a night I'll always remember it was very moving and very gratifying to be a part of something to be a part of a show on Broadway that I feel like 
the kind of show that Broadway just doesn't really have very often anymore. And to have seen two and a half, three weeks of preview audiences open their hearts and, and embrace it has been really gratifying. You're a butterfly, my friend, powerful and strong, and I'm grateful for the way you've always hurried me along. When you flap your wings to stretch yourself, it might seem small to you. But you change the world